$71 billion acquisition of Fox is finally complete. It means more content for Disney's streaming service, but what does it mean for competitors like Netflix? Haley Wynn with Business in Vancouver is joining us now with those details. Haley. We know that Netflix is already having to give up a lot of its rights to Disney content. This is just another area where Disney's branching out and securing really high quality premium content. For example, it's now going to own The Simpsons, it's going to own popular TV channels like National Geographic and FX, as well as the rights to popular franchises like X-Men and Deadpool. On top of that, Disney now through this merger owns a majority stake in the U.S. streaming service Hulu, so it has that piece in place. This is also coming, of course, ahead of Disney's launch of its own streaming service expected later this year. Disney has been very clear that streaming is going to be its focus in 2019, as will other direct-to-consumer products, and certainly in a very good place content-wise to give a company like Netflix a bit of a run for its money. All right, and another story you're following this morning, new numbers out for wholesale trade. That's right. It's up for the second month in a row here in Canada. We saw about a 0.6% gain month to month, bringing in our wholesale trade total for the month of January to $63.5 billion. Up on the screen are some national stats. When we compare how BC fared for the month of January, we're falling a bit below average. We saw just 0.2% gains month to month. We actually saw a bit of a drop year over year of 0.6%. When we look at some of the biggest movers year over year, we saw personal goods do very well seen with beverages and farm products interestingly we saw quite a big drop when it came to wholesale trade of motor vehicles but in the opposite direction we saw equally as good gains for used motor vehicles and parts interesting to watch those gives you a bit of a sense of what's moving nationally and within the economy all right Haley Woodham with business in Vancouver on this Thursday thanks Haley